Hello children. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to a wonderful learning session. So enjoy each day and know that you are surrounded by support. Try your best in everything you do. Stay positive, have fun and keep smiling. You will definitely do great. So this is Priya from English Department Alpha International CBSE School, Bahur. Today we are going to discuss about the poem The Road Not Taken from Chapter 1. Let us discuss about the author Robert Lee Frost. He was born on March 26, 1874 and passed away in January 29, 1963. He was an American poet. His work was initially published in England before it was published in America. And he is highly regarded for his realistic depictions of rural life and his command of American colloquial speech. So, our author, the Robert Lee Frost, he was born in San Francisco, but he spent most of his adult life in rural New England. So, he spent his life in England, so in the rural areas. His work frequently employed themes from the early 19th, okay. And then, and so as he was living in England, his poetry is identified with that region only. Frost employed traditional patterns and he said he chose the old fashioned way to be new. What did he say? He chose the old fashioned way to be new. And he is best known for his shorter lyrics. He admired the qualities of honesty, simplicity, love and hard work. So here we have to notice one thing children. Maximum, the most of his poems lies between two things. Like how means? It lies between fact and fancy. Or reality and imagination. Or pleasure and purpose. Nature and civilization. And country and city. So these are the things which he compares in his poems. And most of the poems, most of the poems of his lies between these two. So, instead of um, imposing those resolutions, that is why he was rewarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 1960 for his poetic works. And he became one of the America's rare public literary figure, almost an artistic institution. So, this is a short intro about our author, Robert Lee Frost. Now the introduction for the poem. Many times in our life we have two more things to choose from. All those things look equally good or attractive. The choice is difficult to make. But a choice has to be made. Our decision makes all the difference in our life. It affects our future. So children, in this poem, the road not taken. Here the road symbolizes our life. The poet, the poet says that the path that we don't choose in our life is the road not taken. It means the which path, the, the, there will be any two or three options for us to choose. The path which is not chosen by us is the road not taken. He describes his feelings about the choice that he had left in the past. The past which we have chosen decides our future, our destination. This is what we are going to discuss in this poem. So the important message that the poet wants to give is that the choice that we make has an impact on our future. And if we make a wrong choice, we regret it but cannot go back on it. So, we must be wise while making choice. And this slide is about the poem. 
like the road not taken poem this poem was first published in 1916 and the road not taken poem shows frost at his best as a pastoral who combines rustic simplicity with hidden indirect and clarity of style and language so this is a small information about the poem the road not taken here let us discuss about the summary of the poem this poem talks about the choices one has to make in life and their consequences one day while walking in a wooden area full of trees the poet comes to a place where he has to decide which road he should take he starts debating over the choices and he realizes he cannot walk on both however he decides to take the second path with the intention of traveling on the first first some other time in future so explanation for the summary is children the road not taken is an autobiographical poem this is an autobiographical poem once the poet came across a junction with his path diverged into two and he had to take a decision which road to take when he was going through he came to a junction a place where the road is diverged there are two roads going and now he wants to decide in which road he want to decide to go he stood there for a long time and gave a serious thought to each road he was thinking he was standing there for a long time and thinking what to decide which road to go he was just confusing his decision then he decided to take the road which was less traveled less travel means it's like no no man i'm so not uh, like how can we say uh, like not so many decided to go that side okay and the reason for this was that it was grassy and as far as the condition of the road was concerned both the roads were equally worn when he was looking at the both the roads one road was looking too much grassy it means like uh, the path is not used by many people so he decided to take that road he decided to keep the other road for some other time though he knew that he might not be able to go back to the road he know that once we go in this road we cannot come back and again go in this road but he just keeps it the option if not we can take this road he just kept this as a option and that morning both the road lay equally covered in leaves he saw the roads one road was covered with grass and he decided this and he kept this option and went back and the next morning when he came both roads were equally covered with leaves there was no difference no traveler had trodden on them that day that day now none was there the poet felt that after ages he would be telling with a sign that both the roads diverge in a forest and the decision of taking the less travel road made all the difference in his life when he decided to take the road which is less traveled by other people he decided the grassy road right so when he decided to take that he was thinking that it was diverging into the forest but the road which he decided to take like the that uh, less travel road made all the difference in his life and the central idea of this poem revolves around a general problem that one faces in life it is of making a choice in life life gives us many opportunities and one has to take decision and stick on in on to it because we must not get confused on what decision we are taking and we must know ourselves that we are in which field we are well and good enough and after thinking twice only we have to decide 
which opportunity you have to take and one can't get everything in life right children we can't get everything in life so in order to get one we have to give up one is it or not so this decision taken can sometimes be wrong also because no one can look into the future regarding the decisions we just assume it may happen or may not happen we just assume and take a decision we don't know what will happen so sometimes it will be a good click for us and sometimes it may it may be wrong also so that choice affects our life but the step once taken cannot be retraced it means once we decide a step to take this field to enter in this field like business etc and all we cannot come back so we have to be cautious in deciding what to take or what not to take understood children this is about the poem's title and these three points these three points describes about the poem's title first point the road is a symbol of the choice made by us in life many times we regret the choice we make but what is done once cannot be undone so here road means what it is symbolizing the choice made by us the second point man regrets for what he has done in himself in life rather than what he has chosen hence the poet has given his poem the title the road not taken the last point the word road not only means way it also means journey or a stage of journey here road does not signify any ordinary road but functions a metaphor of a vital decision in our life so these are the main key points for the whole poem understood children and now you be ready with your pencils and textbook open once i am by start reading the poem i'll ask you to underline the important vocabulary or hard words sometimes i will be giving you the meaning the synonym for that vocabulary after underlining the word you have to write that synonym beside that okay so be ready with your pencils and textbook children let us start our poem from the next slide here comes our poem so the first stanza let me read the first stanza two roads diverge in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and i looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth so coming to the explanation part children i think you can see the junction in this picture given this is the junction where the poet our author stood and was deciding to take which road he needs the children underline the word diverge in the first line underline the word diverge diverge means separate what is it diverge means separated right separated so underline the word yellow wood and underline the word undergrowth yellow wood means a forest with decomposing leaves and undergrowth means dense growth of plants and bushes means forest okay children here once the poet the explanation for this poem was once the poet was walking down a road and then there was a diversion there were two different paths and he had to choose only one out of them so the poet says that as he was one person he could not travel is it or not he was only one person but the roads are two the road is divided into two diverged into two and he says that i am the only one person and i have to choose only one and out of these two roads 
and yellow woods means I, I, as i said already yellow woods means a forest with leaves which are wearing out and they have turned yellow as they fell down and turned yellow like drying right in the season of autumn you can see all those yellow leaves it represents a world which is full of people it means the whole the leaves which were felled it like it is representing the people living for many reason, many years and they represent people who are older than the poet so the poet kept standing there he is standing there for a long time looking at both the paths and decide, less confusing in deciding in which he wants to go so before taking the path he wanted to know how it was nobody can see the future right by standing there itself he cannot see the end of the road but he wants to know what it was and how it was but it is not suitable him not suitable for him right so he was able to see the path till from when it curved after which it was covered with trees and was hidden so he is standing at this junction and looking as long as far as he could see he was looking there to know what is there but after that a turning comes and he cannot see the fall right so but he has to choose only one out of them then he take time to think about the pros and cons whether it is suitable for him or not and only then he he has to take a decision on what path he should choose so this is the explanation for first stanza second stanza children don't forget to underline the words when i am instructing itself you start underlining the word because today's activity will be based on these underlined words at the end of the poem i am going to give an activity regarding these underlined words so be cautious and don't forget to underline the word now coming to the poem second stanza then took the other as just as fair underline the word fair f a i r fair and having perhaps the better claim underline the word claim c l a i m because it was grassy and wanted wear underline the word grassy wanted wear though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same underline the word warn in the last sentence now children here fair means a good as good as the other one claim means better option grassy means unused not uh, not used and wanted wear means had not been used wanted wear means had not been used and then coming to the explanation part of this stanza here the poet keep on looking at one path for a long time to check if it is a right path for him or not and then he decided and started walking on another path because he felt that the both paths were equally good after a long time standing there and watching both the both the paths he was confused and not at decided later after a long time he had he was just looking at one path like that how as far as he can see how long how he can see so he was trying to see at the end of the other side but he cannot see because there there might be a turning also so he cannot see the road that side so he once check the uh, one one road and then then decided to take the other road because he felt both the roads were equally good he says just as fair that is why he said it as fair because both are equal as good as the other one so he felt that path both paths were equally good and started walking on one of them he decided to take one path and started to walk on it 
he adds that maybe he felt that the path was better for him so he chooses it as it had grass on it which means that it was unused here in the two roads one road is looking plain and in the other road there was grass he decided that grass road because he thought that it was not used for so many days like no one maximum number no people has gone there very little people might have chosen that road so he 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 decided to take that grassy path because not many people had walked on this path earlier that is why this path was grassy right the grass had grown on the road as no people were not walked on that path and wanted wear means that it was not walked over by many people so after he walked on the path of the same some for some distance he started walking in that path in the grassy path after going for some distance he realized that both the paths had been worn out from the same way both came from the same way both the paths were similar also both the paths were looking similar even in our life the message in this poem was in this stanza was even in our life we take any path or option there will be getting any two options right so we will be taking any one option but all of them have the same benefits both both paths both options both opportunities will have the same benefits and the same way they will be having advantages disadvantages challenges problems criticism everything will be in all the ways whatever we choose but we have to face them we must face them once we decide to take that path we think that we are choosing a better option but it is not that after choosing this option sometimes we will be thinking we might have taken that also it might be good i have done a mistake we will be regretting but the fact is both all the options all the opportunities will have the problems criticisms advantages and disadvantages everything will be there the thing is the way how we are going to face them and overcome it so this is explanation for stanza 2 stanza 3 and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black underline underline the word trodden oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way underline the word leads i doubted if i should ever come back children here trodden means walked over walk nobody means nobody walking like that right leads means we see which is leading us in some way and coming to the explanation part the poet says that both the paths were similar when he went next morning the mot that morning after deciding when he wants to decide to take a path when he was looking at those diverged roads the roads were looking similar they are looking alike both roads are having those yellow color leaves on them and no one had stepped on them as they were still green in color so here yellow woods yellow leaves means it's not a dry leaves in autumn season the fresh leaves itself they just wither right so these two diverged roads were filled with those leaves and those were they were looking fresh as if no one has been walking there and these leaves both the roads were covered with the leaves and no one had stepped on them and they were still looking greenish yellowish and fresh and he decided that that day he would take one path and keep the other path for another day he was thinking like today he we will go in this way and let us take that way that uh, let us keep that road that path to the another day he was he kept that in choice like we will go today in this way and tomorrow we will take that another day but 
he knew he also knew that once we take this road and start start the tra traveling in this road we cannot come back and again take this road he knew the truth also that is a fact but he was just just assuming like if we can take that another day and he knew that he could not go back and on the choice that he had made so it means here the road which he has chosen and which he kept for another day it means children even in our life once we choose one option once we take any opportunity once we decide to take one opportunity which attract us more which we are willing to take that op option more we must keep on moving ahead with that option and we never get a chance to come back once we take that once we decided to take that route that path that opinion we have to move on whatever problems we face we cannot come back and we must not think coming back and going and taking the other route again so never never regret to the decision you have taken and we must keep on moving ahead with that option and we never get a chance to come back again we have to keep that also in mind and take the other option that we had led earlier so this is the explanation of the poem of the third stanza explanation of the third stanza and the message from this stanza now let us see the fourth stanza now let us discuss about the last stanza of the poem i shall be tell this with a sigh underline the word sigh somewhere ages and ages hence somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference so underline the word hence children sigh means taking deep breath taking deep breath and hence means hereafter in the future like that we use this word hence while continuing the i mean giving a conclusion right now coming to the explanation part here the poet says that in the future he will take a deep breath in he in the future he will take a deep breath and say that once upon a time he had reached such a point in life that there were two op options for him and he traveled on that road which had been traveled upon by lesser number of people he is talking clearly that he after by in the future he will sure he will speak it seems like he will take a deep breath and he will say that once upon a time he was standing in a junction of the two roads diverged and he had option to select either this nor that one and how he decided this way which is less traveled by which less traveled by the people by the lesser number of the people so he is saying that he will talk about it definitely in the future by taking a deep breath so that decision of his decision i mean this decision of his future so he decided this decision this, sorry he decided this decision for the future right and similarly the same way on the other hand in future in future if you grow up children we are talking about the message of this poem in future if we grow up if you grow up then you will say that once upon a time when you were young you had two options everyone used to speak about our our future in the same way our past right for example now if you are in 9th standard you will be speaking about that with if you want to talk about some teacher or deciding a school in 5th standard i was in that house i know that teacher we used to speak about the past right and then we will be talking about the future also like how once i become a doctor or engineer or once i become a teacher i will do this and that 
we will be having some goals right that is in the same way in the future when you grow up then you will also speak that once upon a time when you were young what you had you had two options to take this or that and how you choose that and decided this path so the choice that you made made you what you became of it right the choice which you are making on that particular decision on that particular day shows what you are and it will be the choice of how you became it and what you what you became of it right and this is a very strong message for all the students because you should be wise and be careful you should be very careful and be think wisely while making choices out of options that you have in your life before because your future depends on the choice that you make today once you finish your 10th or 11th or 12th the choice like uh, your education wise your, your career wise and then even the character even the character you are choosing to be how and your attitudes the maintenance of attitudes everything what all the options you have and the, what all the decisions you are going to take that you decide to take that depends on the choice that you make today so never be careless and you have to take a right decision even if it is in the past in the today always think about today while taking the decisions and you have to and you have to think detailly about the future also so this is the explanation for the last stanza children the message of the poem the message of this poem is robert frost poem the road not taken seems to hold out the mortal that life is a continuous journey full of divergence now and then the important thing is to move on without looking back whether the choice of path taken was right or wrong the right or wrong are relative terms we cannot get everything in life and have to make choices whatever direction in our life takes is determined by the choice made by us in the journey of life one can seldom come back to travel the roads not taken earlier so this is a strong message given by the poet in this poem the road not taken so everyone will be having options in their life to choose an education purpose or in the careers we have an option so while taking an option we have to be clear wise and then we have to decide whether we if we go through we can come over like all the options all the opportunities will have the problems advantages disadvantages as i said criticism even sometimes you will be fed of that particular job or studies but also we have to stand strong in that particular direction in that particular decision which we have taken we have to stay strong in that and we have to move on facing all these problems without regretting about the other option which you had left it means the other direction means what the road not taken so we should not never th we should never think like going back to the other if because who knows the other decision the other option will also may also have the same problems right so we have to be strong enough to face the problems what all uh, what all we are facing in that option which we have chosen so this is a strong message in this poem children with this we are going to end the poem the road not taken and after this children i have given the class work content in this ppt presentation itself you can copy from this else we will be sending a pdf format also in whatsapp and then children the presentation should be very clear and in the first lesson notes i have already noted that some of the children were doing grammatical mistakes so using of upper case lower case 
and then leaving space between the words even the spelling mistakes also is there so you have to check neatly and write neatly okay children and today's activity for this is i have asked you to underline the words in every stanza right so in a4 sheet you take no note down all those those underline words and with the help of a dictionary you have to find the right synonym for those underline words you write it with a neat handwriting with margins capital letter and small letter with the date and post it in the whatsapp and another request children some of you are not mentioning your name whenever you are sending class work content or activity whatever you are sending please mention your name with initial then only it will be easier for us to correct and correct and report right so thank you children with this i am going to end this poem and let us meet in the next session with the same thing okay children thanks a lot this is priya signing off thank you children bye